Papua New Guinea is a country located just north of Australia, and it is the right half or the eastern half of the island of New Guinea. The other half is known as West Papua and is a part of the nation of Indonesia. Papua New Guinea is an independent nation, and you see WeWAC there. Uh, that is where Penny and I live. Three weeks from now, we will be leaving for PNG again. And the Lord has uh, opened wide doors of opportunity for ministry in PNG. Uh, just a couple of birds of paradise that I want to show you. Uh, and the first is the King of Saxony bird of paradise. Papua New Guinea is the only country in the world that has all the species of the birds of paradise. There's over 30 species of them. King of Saxony bird of paradise, size of a finch, uh, has these um, antenna uh, coming out of its head. Um, beautiful bird. Uh, so many of the birds of paradise are just uh, delightful. And then the next one is the Ragiana bird of paradise. This is the national bird of Papua New Guinea. Uh, most birds of paradise are about the size of this, about the size of a crow, um, but have such beautiful and fantastic plumage. Uh, so it's a delight to be able to see some of these birds of paradise out in the bush. Next. The Ministry of Pacific Island Ministries in Papua New Guinea is that of education. We provide edu elementary and primary education uh, for kids in the interior of PNG who do not have any other opportunity for education. We train Papua New Guineans to serve as teachers in these schools in the bush. So we have, yeah, some 30 schools, some 40 teachers uh, in these schools. And uh, so we very much appreciate uh, the Papua New Guineans who serve as teachers and those villages in the interior that are eager to get educational opportunities for their children. And this is one of our PIM teachers. His name is Wesley. I love Wesley and I love hearing his updates when they come in. Uh, he is a man of faith. A few years ago when he was sick and desperately sick, he, it was a matter of life and death to him to get the word of God into his heart to take promises. He wrote them down on cards and he just brought them into his soul. His uh, son helped him to get out to one of the coastal towns where he could get some medical treatment and he's teaching now. He trains his children to face into life's hardships and to trust the good that God's gonna do for them. My friend, Catherine Tani, is amazing. She's single, she loves Jesus, and she loves Christian literature. And she will go out into the remote places uh, with cartons of PIM books to give to uh, principals of schools or some of her contacts and relations uh, that they put them to use to. Here you see Eric teaching at the annual pastors course in Ambunti. Some of these pastors, this year we had about 70. They hike over the mountains around Ambunti to get to the course. Some of them will travel a whole day by canoe on the river and they love the interaction, the encouragement that they get, the new teachings, some materials that are given to them, and their fellowship together, and the singing of 70 men of God who are just desperate for God's help and want to praise Him with all their heart, and their out loud prayers all together is something that you just can't describe. <laughs> Here they are in the big group, all of them just very happy to have been there for that week or so. 
Pastor Terence is my favorite pastor in Papua New Guinea. Um, he's a pastor of um, Maprik South Seas Evangelical Church. Um, he is a pastor who is keenly interested in religious education. Papua New Guinea is uh, quite unique among countries around the world in that it, well, for a number of years, it recommended CRE, Christian Religious Education, in all of its schools, and now it's required. Um, and so Pastor Terrence, he's on the ball, so he has gone to Maprik High School and told them about the opportunities. And um, so the principal of Maprik Secondary School has asked Pastor Terrence to teach religious education at that school, and he does so. And uh, so, yes, and it is just amazing how interested high school students in the public high schools, the government high schools of Papua New Guinea, how interested they are in what the Word of God has to say. They are very hungry. John Cairns is the principal of Vanamo High School. Vanamo is located about 60, 70 miles due west of Wewak. Um, and when we first got to know him, he, uh, he got looking at some of the books, 10 Hot Topics, 11 More Hot Topics, and uh, he was uh, so impressed. He said to us, these materials are so good, I'm going to teach this myself. And so he, as principal, is uh, teaching these material to high school students. Uh, so we very much enjoy, it's only once every two years or so that we see uh, Principal John Cans. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just a wide open door to be able to teach the Word of God in the public high schools of Papua New Guinea. Uh, this year, by the way, is the first year that um, the PNG government, the education department, has provided us with the funds for uh, 50,000 of these books um, in the high schools of PNG. So um, we're hoping that that's going to continue in the upcoming years. I was thinking about retiring when I was uh, 70, which uh, I am right now, 72 years of age, but. Uh, Right now, the doors are just wide open, so uh, we continue to serve there. Thank you for your support also of yes. um, Pacific Island Ministries. Doug and Leah Heidema served there for some 40 years. Leah was Penny's sister. She passed away in 2015, just in the last year and a half. Uh, Doug has remarried uh, a woman who's a, who was a missionary in Papua New Guinea in Wewak. She's from Taiwan. Um, and so the two of them were here last year. Thank you for your prayers too.